In this video, we're going to step into part three of an introduction to Excel pivot tables. Just like the prior two videos, I'm going to make this quick, just introduce you to a key feature of Excel pivot tables. Now, if you haven't watched part one and part two, make sure you jump up to the links and take a look at those videos before you jump into this one right here. Now, open in front of you, I've got the same example file that I used in part one and part two. If you haven't downloaded that, jump down into the description of this video and download the example file. It's called Intro Pivot Tables 01, and it's got a simple little customer orders list that we're going to be utilizing to summarize data in a pivot table. So what I'm going to introduce you to here is once you summarize data inside of an Excel pivot table, you may want to filter that data. Well, when the 2010 release of Excel came out, Microsoft introduced a feature called Pivot Table Slicers. Now, a slicer is an interactive filter that you can utilize to filter the results of your pivot table. Take a look. So open in front of you, I got the list. I'm gonna quickly create a pivot table and summarize some data based off this content. So first step, I'll click into the list, go to Insert, Pivot Tables, From Table Range, my table range is called customer orders. That's the name of my list. And I'm gonna put it into a new worksheet. I'll hit okay. So now I've got my new worksheet here called sheet four. I'm gonna quickly rename that. Let's just call it orders PT pivot table. And I'm gonna move my head over because on the right hand side, we've got our field list here. All of our various columns that we're gonna to utilize to create this pivot table. So now I get just, just drag and drop the fields to start summarizing it. So I'll do something like ship country to the rows, uh, the freight into the value section. And I think I'm going to call it good for right now. Just a simple little summary. The countries within that list took 830 records, found all the countries, gave me back a unique list of all the countries, and then summed up the freight for each of those countries. Very cool, very simple, drag and drop. So now I may look at this and say, well, this is great. I've now got a total freight for each of these countries, but my original list, if I hop back to the orders, the order date column has three different years found inside of that column. So it looks like we start with 96, we then got 97, and I believe there's 98 records in here as well, 1998. There we go, 1998. So we got three different years of summarized information, which is great, a quick snapshot here of that data. Well, what if I just wanna report off of a specific year? I wanna see 96, right, give me that data. I wanna see 97, give me that data. Well, with the pivot table, I can quickly filter the results. Now, inside of an Excel pivot table, there's multiple ways to be able to filter the results. One, I can go into my field lists and I can utilize the filters option here. Take a look. So if I go into my field list, I'll grab the order date and I'm just gonna drop it down into the filter section. So now I've got at the top of my pivot table order date and I'm currently looking at all, meaning all 830 records, all three years. If I click on the drop down. I can now start to filter off of those results. But as you can see here, it's, at least by default, it's not the most uh, accessible interface for me to go to. It's listing out every single value in there. Okay, great. Okay, but it's there, it's available. I'm gonna drag the order date back out of the field list. Let's just get rid of it. I just drag it out, let go, it's gone. Now, another way to be able to filter the results is by utilizing the slicer command. So by clicking into the pivot table, you've now got a couple of new tabs at the top of your screen. One of them is pivot table analyze. The other is design. So if I go to the analyze tab, one of the groupings here is for filter. And one of the options is insert slicer. There's one right next door to it called insert timeline. Now, what are we working with here? We're working with an order date. I wanna be able to see this broken out by year. So here, I'm gonna grab the timeline option. 
This opens up my insert timelines, give me, gives me my three date columns or fields, order date, required date, ship date. I'm gonna base this off of order date. So I'll click okay. And now, look at this. So I've got it broken up by year and month there. I can scroll through, there's 96, there's 97, and there's 98. Now on the top right corner, we're currently viewing this broken up by months. We got year there to identify the months or the year for the months. But if I click on the drop down, we've got some other filtering or grouping commands. So here I'm going to say year. Now I've got my three years. I can shrink that box up, don't need it as big. And I can now select a year, 96, and it filters for just the 96 records. I'll grab 97, filters for 97, 98. I can expand it, I can subtract from it. Uh, and I can click around to be able to filter the results. A nice interactive method to present to your users so that they can filter the results of the pivot table. Now, let's take it one step further. This was a timeline. If I click back into my pivot table, I'm gonna go to analyze, and this time I'm gonna use the slicer command. And for this one, I'm gonna grab the ship via, which is the various companies that we use to ship out these orders. I'll hit okay. And now I've got another little filter here for those shipping companies. And I can click on them. I, I just want to see federal shipping. That's it. And right now I'm looking at federal shipping for 96. Maybe I want to see all three years. And this will recalculate, resummarize data based off of these criteria, these filters. So make sure you try this out. Quickly filter the results. It's not just summarizing the data through a pivot table, but now an interactive method method to filter the results of your summarized data through your Excel pivot table. So make sure you download the file in the description. While you're down there, give the video a thumbs up if you've learned something new here and leave me a comment. Let me know something that you personally can use pivot tables for in your own working experience. And if you're new to this channel, give me a subscription, subscribe to the channel. Let me know that you're enjoying it and you wanna be able to get updates when I upload new videos to this channel. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you in the new video.